everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today, what I've got here is the Favaro Motion Temperature and Luminance Detector. Uh, this is kind of a long-term review. Uh, I've been using this product for probably four years now. And uh, it's a neat little motion sensor. I use it on my Z-Wave network. And as you can see, it's got this weird glowing eyeball which is kind of one of the key features of it. But it's a very minimalistic type sensor. Um, as you can see, all it is is it has the main unit and it has this little clip that you can mount on the wall or you could just sit it down. It's got a flat spot here on the bottom. And the neat thing about it is, is it just kind of pops in and everything kind of just slides around so you can mount this pretty much anywhere with that one screw and it just pops in pops out and when you move it around or jostle it, it's got that's got like a i guess a, a tamper resistance uh feature on it um but what happens is when you walk by you'll get the glowing red light uh to let you know that there's motion there um and it like i said i'll show you here on the screen uh, what looks like what it looks like in home sear um, as you can see it gives you the status of the battery um, this one has been running probably for four years now and as you can see the battery is still holding up pretty well here in the 70 percent range um, you can also see the luminance so you can use the values from that to uh, you know if it's in a dark room or a light room you can know if the lights are on or off uh, just by the luminance value, you can set a threshold on it and maybe trigger uh, a switch or uh, an alert to let you know a light's on in the house. And also, it's got temperature on it. And the temperature here, you can see, you know, you can use that for a room value. So you don't have to have multiple sensors in one room. This one device here will do it for you. And, and basically, that's the information that it's giving you. Um, this has been working in a high traffic area. Um, it's uh, in my garage, as you can see by the naming. Um, and it, it's got a lot of traffic going by. You know, multiple cars coming in and out of the garage a day, walking by, garage door opening. All that gets picked up on this sensor. And it's lasted quite a while. Um, I've been very impressed with it. Um, here you go, you can kind of see the back just does like a quarter turn and you can see it's got the 123A lithium battery. It's got your pairing switch up there, which is what you would use it if you wanted to pair it uh, to your device. Um, and then this just goes back on. There is some little indicator marks here. They're very faint. I don't know if they show up on the camera that well. Uh, you just line them up and it shows that they're locked. They're right there. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a brief inter uh, overview on this. Um, like I said, I've been working with it now for several years. It uh, has given me no issues. It's never lost um, connection. Uh, it's just one that I've kind of just got to set it out there and just let it do its thing. But anyway, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Uh, I've had quite a bit of uh, new subscribers come on here in the past couple months. Sorry, the videos have not been coming out as regularly as I hoped. Uh, I plan to keep doing more uh, as time permits. But please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notification. And if you have any comments or questions or want to see any future videos, drop them in the comments below and I'll see what I can do about getting those produced for you. Thanks and have a great day.